Hello and welcome to my channel Agriculture with Tanvir once again. In this video, we are going to study about one more important topic of weed management and that is required to each and every farmer in the country. Each and every farmer wants to, has to calculate, needs to calculate the dose of herbicide because the application of herbicides causes a lot of adverse effects on the soil health and as well as on the crop health. So the deficiency or the excessivity or excess of herbicide applications can also damage the soil health and soil structure and the crop health and the crop growth. So before application of any kind of herbicide, we have to calculate the right amount of doses. So for every student who are doing any experiments, every scientist or every researcher who are doing any experiments on the field needs to know this formula of calculation of herbicides. So today we are learning about the calculation of herbicide. Okay. So before calculation of herbicide, we need to know what is the purpose of calculation of this thing. So we need to do a proper weed count. So to check the efficacy or the efficiency of a particular herbicide, suppose we have applied a herbicide uh, composition named ethoxy sulfuran, so or beta sulfuran, something like this. So when we apply the particular chemical, we have to check its effectiveness, right? So the effectiveness can be calculated by doing a weed count at every 30 days interval. So if you are growing a particular crop, you need to apply a particular herbicide at the right amount and then you have to do the particular weed count to check the efficacy of the particular herbicide. Like is the herbicide able to control the weeds? resist the weeds or completely eradicate the weeds from that particular crop. So now we are going to learn and we are going to calculate with an example the herbicide calculation. Okay. So today we are going to calculate the herbicide dose or the herbicide amount whatever you say so suppose suppose there is a farmer who wants to spray some particular herbicide okay see he has bought a particular uh, uh, herbicide bottle or herbicide packet in which and he wants to apply it for an area of one hectare suppose a farmer wants to apply for an area of one hectare okay so the area is one hectare so in this one hectare area we can sort of there is one hectare okay this one hectare area and the herbicide or the weedicide in the bottle of every herbicide or in the packet of every herbicide the constituent active ingredient it is either written as ai active ingredient or it is either written as ecs emulsified concentrate or in some other forms so the weedicide that comes in a particular container or packet comes with a particular uh, concentrate or comes with a particular uh, percentage or its efficacy percentage. So, so, so suppose we are going through a question like a farmer wants to spray in a one hectare area. So, this is the one hectare area, and if you need to spray a particular herbicide, suppose let us take a herbicide named herbicide named is A. Okay, so it is a herbicide whose name is A. So, this herbicide constituents around 5 kg ai per hectare so this is the recommended dose okay not recommended dose but we can tell it here that the herbicide recommends that it should be or if you want to apply at the rate 5 kg ai per hectare and the active ingredient active ingredient percent is equals to 50 percent okay Suppose the active AI that is present or this is you can call it as a dose. So the dose of herbicide that has to be applied per hectare is 5 kg AI. It is 5 kg AI and the AI percentage, AI percentage is the active ingredient. So this is the active ingredient. So the herbicide bottle particularly contains around 50% of the active ingredients that whatever the chemical that is constituent that is present is active the active percentage of that particular chemical constituent is around 50 percent so if this and these two are mostly found in your particular herbicide uh, containers or packets so 
so when we are calculating so now how to calculate what will be the herbicide dose so what will be the herbicide dose how much amount of herbicide we require to put in one hectare area so now we have the dose given here it is like we want to apply 5 kg at that 5 kg ai per hectare and the ai percentage in that particular chemical is 50 percent so now comes the herbicide amount or herbicide dose so the herbicide dose or amount can be calculated by using a formula so how to calculate this so this is like the active ingredient or the active ingredient composition or constraint by okay divided with the percentage of the ai okay so percentage of ai we can write it here this ai sorry ai active ingredient present okay into 100 divided with the percentage of ai so this is the herbicide calculation formula like here we have the ai dose given as is 5 and here we have the percentage of active ingredient as 50 percent and into 100 so here we are getting suppose if you are calculating the herbicide requirement is around ai is our 5 kg or 5 okay into 100 okay so this is 100 is due to its percentage we have to calculate so this is ai constituent or ai ingredient percentage this is the efficacy that is 50 so now what we are getting is so when we are solving this particular thing we will be getting around 10 kg okay so 10 kg is what we are getting the answer so this 10 kg is the amount of herbicide a 10 kg is the amount of herbicide a that we need to apply for one hectare so 10 kg per hectare is the application for 10 kg is the application for one hectare so now we need to know that so as the recommended dose we know that it is 5 kg per hectare and we are air percent is 50 percent so now when we are calculating the amount exact amount of herbicide that we need to put in the one hectare area with this formula we are getting it as 10 kg so this is how the weed or herbicide calculation is being done to calculate the amount of herbicide and it is very important to incorporate the uh, incorporate the amount of herbicide right amount of herbicide right dose of herbicide to sustain the soil health and to sustain the crop health so keep watching my videos keep studying my videos and keep subscribing thank you